Hi, everybody. Well, uh, I, I have this story about a passenger who was on a Carnival cruise ship who was denied their drink package at the end of the cruise. And they freaked out. But there's a reason they're denied. Let's see if you agree that, that Carnival did the right decision. So on Carnival, we have, you can buy the cheers package, you can enjoy your beverages, you can have wine, beer, alcohol, and up to 15 drinks a day, which is an awful lot. I'm going to admit, if I'm hitting 15 drinks a day, I am worried about my liver. <laughs> Put it that way. But if you're on holidays and it's the only time you do it, uh, what the heck, indulge, have fun, as long as you're not bothering other people or endangering anybody or endangering yourself. Well, in one case, a lady was drinking so much that she basically had her blood sugar level like rise to the point where she needed medical attention on the ship. She was so inebriated that she needed to have medical attention to help keep her safe. Now, after this incident, Carnival said, I'm sorry, uh, we're cutting off your drink package. Now, this is near the end of the cruise. And she was furious, saying it's not up to Carnival on whether or not she should drink. It's her own decision. It's her body. It's her right to drink on the cruise ship. And if you're going to deny me, I want my entire drink package returned. And also, hey, maybe some onboard credits and maybe my money back if you're going to deny me things like that. Now, <laughs> uh, this, is, this is actually two cases kind of in one. So I'm encom encompassing one. One is a recent one. One is a few weeks ago. And yeah, the one person was asking for full refund, even though it was the end of the cruise for their drink package. The other one was demanding their money back for the whole cruise, even though it was near the end of the cruise when it happened. And it, it's the same incident, the same reasoning. They basically put themselves in a health risk that Carnival had to step in and medical attention was needed. Now, I am all on board with Carnival in this situation. If you drink yourself into a stupor where, for instance, you are comatose and you cannot move, you're flat out drunk on the floor or you're flat out drunk at the bar and you can't move and you don't know where you are, you should be cut off, period, for the rest of the cruise because you don't know how to handle your alcohol. Also, if you endanger yourself by like you have diabetes or something and your, your blood sugar rises to the point where it's dangerous and medical staff need to intervene, yeah, they have every right in the world to cancel your drink package. And I do believe they said, you know, if, if say there's two days remaining, they're going to give you two days of your drink package back when they canceled it. They don't have to do that because you were drinking irresponsibly. And if you look at the notes and the, under your small print, they have the right to cancel it if you were endangering yourself, other people, or you know, causing a disturbance because of alcohol. I, uh, I can, I, I, I don't get this. I have a right to do whatever I want thing when medical staff had to intervene to keep you safe. Obviously you're not safe enough in your own head to look after yourself. And of course, had Carnival not stepped in and the worst happened and the passenger, you know, passed away because of something like this, then of course the family would sue the cruise line into the ground saying that they were irresponsible, that 15 drinks is way too much, they should be much less than that, they should be cutting people off sooner, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and the cruise line would be held for liability. Uh, yeah, of course they would. I would say the cruise line has every right to err on the side of caution in this case. And they have it right in their terms of agreement that you sign. Now, no one reads it. 
I'm probably one of the only people that you'll ever hear that have read 29 pages top to bottom of a cruise contract. But I do this for a living. <laughs> so, so I want to know all of the little ins and outs and everything like that. I, and, and every cruise line's wording is different, but they all basically the same thing. They have a right to cancel a lot of things and not compensate us, and you can't do anything about it. You can try, but it's in the contract and they can bring that up and you have to get by that in a court of law first. However, if you are drinking yourself to a point where you're endangering yourself, how can you possibly complain to the cruise line that, okay, I, I almost died yesterday from drinking too much, but I'll be fine today. Don't worry about me, just open up that bar. <laughs> Yeah, in this case, I'm siding with the cruise line all the way.